Alliance trio of Cecilia, Mitzai, and Joanna. What's most troubling about the rearrest of these women is that the perpetrators of the sexual assault, um, torture, and abduction of these women are yet to be brought to book. The spurious uh, charges of faking an abduction that have been brought by the state against these women constitute a re-victimization and re-traumatization of them in a way that continuously persecutes them and adds to their torture. This is the latest in a series of attacks against the citizens uh, by the state. The state has also uh, this week clamped down on lawyers. It has also issued threats against journalists, has also victimized the church issued threats against civic society and has called uh, the legitimate opposition terrorists. What we see is that the state is at war with its own citizens. What we've also seen this week is that millions have been stolen under the guise of the COVID-19 pandemic, particularly um, under the Ministry of Health with the assistance of the Ministry of Finance under the guise of the COVID-19 pandemic. Corruption continues to plague um, this government. What this requires of every single citizen is to continue to uh, speak out against corruption, injustice, and poverty. Finally, uh, every citizen must remain engaged with the constitutional and electoral process. There is an attempt by the state to fast track changes to the constitution. We must not allow that to happen during this lockdown period. There is an attempt to stop by elections from taking place during the lockdown period. We must not allow that either. Even though the democratic space is shrinking, we must remain resolute and continue to fight to win Zimbabwe for change.